Support for WICN comes from listeners like you. Thank you. Every day here on 90.5 WICN, the tradition of giving you the world's best jazz continues. And today, it gets even better as New England's top jazz artists perform for you live from the WICN Performance Studio. This is Live Jazz New England. Here's your host, jazz pianist Pamela Hines. Well, good afternoon and welcome to Live Jazz New England. I'm your host, Pamela Hines. We're dedicating today's show to our friend and WICN host, Joe Zupan, who passed away on Monday. We celebrate his great life and courage. My guest today is versatile vocalist Wendy Glick. And if you've been to the Colonial Inn in Concord on a Saturday night, then you've heard Wendy belt out a tune with a big punch or cool down for a sultry ballad. She's going to be at the Acton Jazz Cafe this Saturday with longtime accompanist Steve Heck on piano and Dave Clark on bass. Steve is here with Wendy today on piano, so let's get right to the music. Here's It Could Happen to You. so much. So um, I'm sorry to hear about Joe Zupan. I know he was a big part of this family. And someone that was a big part of my family was my sister, Vicki. And this next song is dedicated to her. It's from my True Colors CD. It's the title song. She passed away 20 years ago today. And uh, sending love up there to her and my dad. Yeah. 
discouraged Oh, I realize It's hard to take courage In a world full of people You can lose sight of it And the darkness inside you Can make you feel so small But I see your truth to the 7,000 people in the studio. Thank you so much. This next tune is a memorable duet that was done by so many people, including uh, Sammy Davis Jr. and Carmen McRae. And it was written by Frank Lesser and Sammy Davis... I'm sorry, by Frank Lesser. And um, it's called Baby... Uh, it's Cold Outside. And this is for the polar vortex that we are in. Stay. It is cold 
outside. I've got to go away. Baby, it's cold outside. This evening has been, been you drop in. so very nice. I hold your hands, they're just like ice. My mother will start to worry. Beautiful, what's your hurry? My father will be pacing the floor. Listen to that fireplace roar. So really, I'd better scurry. Beautiful, please don't hurry. Well. Maybe just a half a drink. Hey, I'll put some records on while I pour. The neighbors might think, baby, it's bad out there. Say, what's in this drink? No caps to be had out there. I wish I knew how your eyes are like stars to right break this spell. I'll take your hat. You know your hair looks so swell. I ought. To say no, 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 sir. Mind if I'm moving closer? At least I'm gonna say that I tried. What's the sense of earning my pride? I really can't stay. Baby, don't hold that old down. Baby, it's, it's cold, cold outside. I simply must go. Baby, it's cold outside. The answer is no. Baby, it's so cold outside. This welcome has been how lucky that so you nice drop in. and warm. Look out the window at that storm. My sister will be suspicious. Gosh, your lips are look so delicious. My brother will be there at the door. Ways upon a tropical shore. My maiden aunt's mind is mm, vicious. Your lips are so delicious. Well, maybe just another drink more. I never such a blizzard before. I've got to get home. Baby, you'll freeze out there. Say, lend me your comb. It's up to your knees. Out there, you've really been grand. I tell when you touch my hand. But don't you see? Oh, baby, how can you do this to me? There's bound to be talk tomorrow. Think of my lifelong sorrow. At least there'll be plenty implied. What if you caught pneumonia and died? Well, I really can't stay. Get over that old doubt, baby. It's cold. There. It's so cold out there. All right, I'll stay. Wow. You are listening to Live Jazz New England with my guest, Wendy Glick and Steve Heck on 90.5 WICN. You know, I can tell by your chemistry and the way you're uh, blending together that you've worked for some time. How long have you two been working together? I met Steve 24 years ago. Yeah, it's been a long time. My son was two, and he's 26 now. So um, he knows what to do when I mess up. Yeah, it's a, there's a nice, natural sort of uh, comfort level with the two of you. It's really, um, really Thank neat you. to hear. He's a great spirit. <laughs> Well, it would um, take quite a while to list all the places where you've performed over the last two decades, but um, recently you've had the house gig at the Colonial Inn in Concord, right in the center of town. Now, how did this come to be? Well, I performed there for probably about five or six years, and originally it was through an agent, and the agent lost the gig, and I, he told me it was okay to call them, and I did, and they like me there, so they've been giving me dates like once a month. So I've been doing that for a while now. It's a fun place, nice room. It's like an intimate room. It's a little small, but that kind of contributes to the uh, sort of coziness of it all, isn't it? Exactly, now, yes. Now, that building is how old? From the 1600s, 1700s? Oh, I don't know. 1600s? Yeah, it, go, it goes pretty far back there, huh? I, they say there's ghosts in there. Wow. <laughs> Hope they're friendly. <laughs> Casper. Now, uh, now this Saturday, uh, you're going to be at the Acton Jazz Cafe for the dinner show with um, Steve on piano and Dave Clark on bass. Um, and now, are you going to go with a theme for the show or sort of mix it up with standards? Well, there's an interesting story behind that. I did a gig at the Chelmsford Center for the Arts on the day after Valentine's Day, 
and we had a big snowstorm. And it went very well for the few people that were there. Um, so I decided to take that show that I already wrote and just tweak it a little bit. So it's some about love and about it's about a lot of different things, but it's going to be really fun. A couple of things we're doing today we'll be doing then and a lot of others. It's always nice when you can take a list from one show and kind of <laughs> right. move it into another one. <laughs> that always helps the time. Um, now, you can order tickets um, by going online or Googling the Acton Jazz Cafe, or you can call 978-263-6161, and you can also pay at the door. And um, all kinds of ways for you to uh, to uh, see Wendy's show this Saturday at the Acton Jazz Cafe. Please let them know you you heard this when you come in. Oh yeah, that would be great. Yeah. You know, Wendy's. A, I mean, uh, Gwen Vivian's a big supporter of WICN and always has uh, always been a big fan of WICN. Well, let's hear a couple of um, those tunes that you'll be doing for the show. Okay. Well, I'm not sure if this one's on the list, but we're going to okay. do this anyways. <laughs> This is um, Our Love is Here to Stay, and it's interesting because it's um, written by the Gershwins, Ira and George Gershwin, and it's about their brotherly love. And it was written in 1938, and um, it wasn't released until after George's death. And uh, again, I'm talking about my sisterly love today, so this is why I'm doing this song, Our Love is Here to Stay. I never knew what love was all about until I met you. It's very clear our love is here to stay. Not for a year, but ever and a day. The radio and the telephone and the movies that we know may just be passing fancies and in time may go but oh, oh oh my dear our love is here to stay together we're going such a long long way in time the rockies may crumble Gibraltar may tumble, they're only made of clay, but our love is here to stay.
All right. Well, this next tune was also written in the 30s, 1934, by Harry Warren and Al Dubin. And this is a bluesy ballad, I Only Have Eyes for You.
Thank you. I want to say hi out there to my friends that are listening. Uh, Dave, I know you're there, and Cheryl and Liz. I know you all told me you were going to be listening, so anybody else, hi if I missed your name. This next song is a Fats Waller tune, Fats Swaller. And um, this 1934 recording was inducted into the Grammy Hall of Fame in 1999. Does anyone know what that is? Well, I saw the script, so I'm not <laughs> it's under public domain, too, which was nice when I was doing my True Colors CD. It's called Honeysuckle Rose. Jealousy when they see you out with me. I don't blame them, goodness knows. You're my honeysuckle rose. When you're passing by, flowers droop and sigh, and I know the reason why. You're much sweeter, goodness knows. You're my honeysuckle rose. Don't Taking sips from your tasty lips Seems the honey fairly drips Your confection, goodness knows You're my honeysuckle rose I'd like to remind you that you're listening to vocalist Wendy Glick and pianist Steve Peck on Live Jazz New England on WICN. Now, Wendy, it looks like you've recorded 40, four CD projects, um, two of your own, uh, True Colors in 2005 and Baby I'm Fine in 2002. And I'm just wondering, was there a, um, who, first of all, who does your arrangements of your, of your tunes? Well, that's interesting. Um, on the second CD, my um, friend that I met on the jazz cruise, Dottie Anita Taylor, who lives in New York, she helped me a bit with those. Um, but 
And I did the first ones for Baby I'm Fine, some with Steve, some with Paul Brodnax. Um, but they sort of evolved when we were in the studio as well. Mm-hmm. So people. Because I had Marshall Wood and Ken Poplowski there, so. Wow. And Eddie Higgins on the second one, so. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I let them take the reins a little bit when we were in the studio. Um, and then our, where were both recorded? Um, at Peter Katrimus' studio in Westwood. P- PBS, I think it's called. Yeah, I think that's what he's, what he's been calling. Right. Peter's Basement Studio. Oh, right. So. <laughs> Um, now, is there a future CD in the works? Is there something else coming up? I've been thinking I'm going to do another one for 10 years, so <laughs> maybe uh, maybe in the next couple of years I'll have. I want to do a live CD, so I'm just guess waiting for the right setting for that. Uh huh. Um, are there? Um, do you write originals, or do you have any original tunes, or people that write things like that for you? Or just "Baby, I'm Fine," which is the title song of the first CD, that was sort of channeled through me. So I wouldn't say I'm a songwriter, but that is a nice song. Well, um, what else would you like to perform for us today? Let's see. Um, we're going to do a song from the 60s that was done by the Beatles. And we're doing this as a bossa nova. And it's called Till There Was You.
until there was you. Thank you to the millions of people in the audience who are all laughing, but you can't hear them. Anyways, the next tune we're going to do is, it was written by Harry Warren and Mac Gordon. Um, Harry Warren also wrote I Only Have Eyes for You, by the way. And uh, this was written in 1966, or in the 60s now. And this is called The More I See You. feeling just grows and grows with every sigh I become more mad about you more lost without you and so it goes can you imagine just how much I love you the more Won't try Listening to Live Jazz New England with my guest Wendy Glick and Steve Heck on 90.5 WICN. And we want to remind you that uh, Wendy, Steve, and uh, Dave Clark will be on base uh, at the Acton Jazz Cafe for the dinner show this Saturday night. You can order tickets by going online at uh, the Acton Jazz Cafe or calling 978 263. 6161. And of course, you can pay at the door. You know, I almost, um, we almost missed the show and I forgot to ask you where people can buy your CDs and do you have a website? I do. My website is www.jazzyplus, J-A-Z-Z-Y-P-L-U-S 
gigs.com. And uh, the best way to purchase the CDs, you can check my website for gigs and stuff, is to go to cdbaby.com and put my name in, Wendy with two E's, W-E-N-D-E-E, Glick, G as in George, L-I-C-K. And uh, that will bring you to my two CDs, and you can hear some clips on there. You and know, purchase I, MP3s I, or whatever. I've been talking to artists about CD Baby and how, uh, you know, even that has evolved over the years to a quite a, a great distributor of music. You know, you get to make your choice about um, how you want your things distributed. And um, I've been so impressed with CD Baby, you know, the way it's um, just been able to get the music out there and uh, really support uh, independent artists. I don't know how you feel about that. Absolutely. They... Um, they put my CD everywhere. I mean, it's in every channel it could be on, in. And um, so I have a lot of MP3 sales still, not a ton, but after that many years, I'm still having people downloading the MP3s and buying the CDs. And, of course, you can also get them when you come to my gig. I will have them with me, and that's the best way to get them. Absolutely. <laughs> you know, um I, I remember in the early days of trying to get things on iTunes and, and just how complicated it was. And, and uh, right. they just do everything now, even if you need, uh, you know, some extra CDs or anything. They seem to have thought of just about everything to support the artist. And um, I, I just think it's a great thing. You know, it's really helped to get um, so many fabulous artists such as yourself out there. So it's, Thank you. It's really great. Um, I want to make sure we have time for the two last songs. Do you want to do Here's to Life and then Moon River, or how, how would you like to do that? Um, if we have time, I'll do Moon River first. Okay. We All have right. time? I want to make sure great. I get the other one in. I think we will. I'll, okay. I'll keep you for running out <laughs> we'll of time. We'll just go through it once. Then, uh... This was written in 1961 as well for um, Breakfast at Timpanies by Johnny Mercer and Henry Mancini. Moon River, wider than a mile, I'm crossing you in style someday. Wherever you're going, I'm going your way To drifters off to see the world There's such a lot of world to see The same rainbows end Waiting round the bend My huckleberry friend Moon River And me I'm pretty sure I'll be doing that at the Acton Jazz Cafe on Saturday if you want to hear the whole thing. Okay, so this next tune um, was a 1992 studio album by Shirley Horn. It was arranged by Johnny Mandel. And um, I'm sure you've heard Shirley Horn do this tune. Joe Williams also did it. Many artists have done it. Um, but she probably made it most famous. And it's called Here's to Life. <laughs> complaints and no regrets I still believe in chasing dreams and placing bets still I believe that all you give is all you get so give it all you've got I 
I ate my share I've had my fill And even though I'm satisfied I'm hungry still To see what's down Another road beyond the hill And do it all again So here's to life And every joy it brings Here's to life To dreamers and their dreams How the time just flies How love can go from warm hellos To sad goodbyes And leave you with the memories You've memorized to keep your winters warm But there's no yes in yesterday and who knows what tomorrow brings or takes away as long as I'm still in this game I want to play for laughs for life for love so here's to Every joy it brings Here's to life To dreamers and their dreams May all your storms be weathered Here's to love And here's to you
I'd like to thank vocalist Wendy Glick and pianist Steve Heck for performing on Live Jazz New England today. Don't forget, she'll be appearing at the Acton Jazz Cafe this Saturday for the dinner show, so get your tickets today. You can also catch her at the Colonial Inn in Concord on other Saturday nights. Thanks to sound engineer John Kassian and John Marable at the control board. Thanks to Piano Mill for providing the piano you've been hearing today, and to Bill Trotman of Birdland Music for the tuning. Thanks also to our live audience, and to you, our listening audience, for being here today. This is Pamela Hines, and I hope you'll tune in next time for Live Jazz New England on 90.5 WICN Jazz Plus for New England.